Joining me now, Daily Mail TV correspondent Caitlin Becker. Caitlin, thanks for coming back on the show. Appreciate it. All right, so I My think pleasure. the question that most people are going to ask is, how did he get away with it for so long? It was a long time, Dan. This was over six years that he ran this scam. And essentially what he did was fraudulently create um, licensing deals, contracts that looked like they were legit from places like Netflix and HBO that purportedly were going to license these film rights abroad. And it's one of these things, I don't know who decided this in the industry, but I feel like everyone knows that if you're going to get into the business and you want to make money, you want to license abroad, that's where the money is. So it seemed like it was this really great, lucrative deal with a quick turnaround on people's investments. The paperwork looked legit. And he managed to, as you said, run off this big Ponzi scheme, Rob Peter to pay Paul. As long as he was getting new money in to pay some of those older investors, he could just keep this ruse up in a loop. How did he gain the trust of the, all these investors? I mean, there were hundreds of people. It's pretty crazy when you think about how long this went on and how many people were involved. I think some of that comes down to what you saw there from that clip from the podcast. It is yeah. a little bit of charisma. It's a little bit of a je ne sais quoi, a that guy where you have this guy coming at you promising all of these really big things. And if you can be charismatic and you know, really get people in and then you turn around and hand them paperwork from Netflix or HBO, two of the biggest streamers in the industry. If you're an investor, you want to get involved in that. And these investors had no reason to doubt him so far in so certainly in the beginning of it. Everybody was getting their money back. They were seeing the returns. Right. All right. I said coup de gras. You said je ne sais quoi. I promise no more French on this show. Uh, Caitlin Becker, Thank you for coming on again. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.